This next demo is going to be creating a hole. So I'm going to delete this. And I'll delete the sketch too. So under the model tab, we have holes. So I select a hole. Now if I just slide this around and pick anywhere on this face, it's going to put a hole in there. So when I select OK, that hole is wherever I happen to magically click, okay? But I, I can't really control where the hole is the way I did that. I'll double click the hole. I can change the size. <clears throat> I can change my depth. Hit tab so I can preview that. <clears throat> You can see it's not going all the way through. There's a V bottom as if I drilled it. I can change that V bottom to just a flat bottom. Okay. <clears throat> I can change it from a blind hole to go up to next, which goes all the way through. So I can do all those options, but what I didn't set myself up for is being able to locate it specifically along the X or Y or Z direction. <clears throat> so I'll delete this hole out. And let's create, notice I'm watching the tree to see what I'm building here. I'm going to select the hole. Before I grab the surface though, I grab the bottom edge and I grab the left vertical edge. And then somewhere about in the middle, I can click a position. When you do it that way, these dimensions will occur. If you do not see the dimensions there for you to modify, it's because you didn't actually pick your edges to measure from. So when I grab that bottom line and this left vertical line, it's creating this constraint and this constraint from those lines to the center point of the circle. <clears throat> Having a little bit of challenges. I was going for 1.5, so that was pretty close. You try and throw a dart and hit closer than that. That is amazingly close. And three inches what I'm going for here, so even that's pretty close. So it's not exact, though. All I have to do, though, to make it exact is to double-click it, type in the number 1.5, select OK, Double click this. <clears throat> Change the number to three. Now it's perfect orientation for what I want. The diameter is one inch. I select OK. And I'm good to go. So that is the most common techniques for creating a hole. I will let you know there is one thing you can do. It's a little more confusing though. So maybe it's better to just delete and start over if you're struggling with this but let's say I'm going to put a blind hole on this face I go to hole and I pick the face <clears throat> and I forgot to add the constraints under here where it says positioning there's an icon that looks like the sketch icon you can click on the sketch icon and then you can go to sketch tab and you can use constraint and constrain from the bottom edge to the point. Come on. Sometimes I struggle though getting that. Let's see if I can do that. No, I didn't like it. <clears throat> so sometimes it's easier to try and grab the point first when you're trying to get the constraint. There's that point, and then I got the bottom line. Okay, so going for two inches, I was off by a tenth of an inch. And then I'll create a constraint. Again, I'll try and create, select the point first. Uh, make sure you have constraint active in the features. And we're going to try and grab that point. I'm just 
my computer seems to be uh, harder to grab things than other people's. I'm not even close to where I'm trying to grab sometimes I feel. And I'm actually going for three inches here. So I can exit that. See how it creates a hole and it's going to bust right through that other hole if I don't change the depth. So I'll change it instead of up to last. I'll do a blind hole. And we'll go one inch deep. Select OK. All right. That is your ticket for ways you can create holes. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to create another demo for this particular step using concentricity. Alright, since many of you already did the sketch part with me, I'm just going to go ahead and sketch this out. Let's go to find and work object. It, it won't take me long to do it. And I'm just going to do a simple slot. So in your 185 class, the basic class, I did teach you how to create slots. And uh, I'll just keep this real simple. Try and go as quick as I can here. Come on. Of course. Oh, so I'm looking for elongated holes, which I call slots. But I'm going to just start here at the 0, 0. And then I'm drawing a center line. So I'll make my center line here and then I'll come out, click a position, and uh, I should constrain it all that, but that's not the point of my demo here. So we'll make a pad. So a quick repeat of the pad commands. Now see pocket is here, it's hiding. Pad is hiding there, so I gotta switch it back here to pad. I'll select uh, quarter inch. All right, so I've got a part with a slot. Now, if I want a hole in the same center point as this radius, which is the most common thing normally, I can go to the hole command and pick the edge of that and then pick the surface. See, I'm picking way over here, but it still finds a center point. I'll go one inch diameter up to last or up to next, either one, and hit preview. And there's a hole in the center of that arc. Select OK. So if you were to go to hole and just grab over here towards the center, it's going to put it in there, but I, it's not centered. It's not concentric. It's just a lucky guess, okay, if you get it over there. So if you want to hold concentricity, when you use the hole command, make sure you grab this edge. And then I can grab the face anywhere on the face, and you'll see it snaps it to wherever the center arc is. I'll select OK. And that is your most common techniques for creating holes.